Hi, Pete Moore. Welcome to Gunmark TV. Probably remember about a month ago I did a video on my Browning Maxxis Mark I semi-auto shotgun. I'll put the link to the YouTube so you can see it. And I said at the time I was getting the Maxxis II coming in and Browning, good to their word, thank you guys, sent me a Maxxis just before Christmas. Comes in a nice travel type case which is always good. Browning are very generous when it comes to things like that. What you get is instructions, warranty, you get shims that you can adjust stock fit with, cast and angle if you want to, which is, which is good. You get a, a gun lock, digital type gun lock, which is quite nice, quite useful. You get two spacers. You just take off the recoil pad and put them in there, which extends the length of pull. You get a choke key, complete with a thread cleaning section so and you get a series of chokes full quarter cylinder and improved that's what you get now the difference between the Maxxis 1 and the Maxxis 2 is that first of all the Maxxis 1 as a product no longer exists I imagine they've got spares but it's no longer in production the Maxxis 2 is almost like a child of two mothers it uses the same operating system as we shall see but it also takes from Winchester's SX4 in a number of areas. And the most important and significant thing about the gun is that on the original Maxxis, when you see the original video you can see, the barrel is not retained by a barrel nut like this, which just screws on. It's retained by a catch. Now, the problem with that was, capacity-wise, you couldn't extend the capacity on some shotguns, modern shotguns. You can get a screw on extension that if you need three shots to make it a seven shot or ten shots to whatever you want to do, you can simply put a tube on the end, end of the magazine. The original Maxxis had a flat nose um, forend, you couldn't do it. Now, Browning very wisely decided that they will go back to the old system, which again harks from the Winchester SX4. Feature wise, the action is identical, you have a self-regulating piston here. New is the shape of the trigger guard. It's much bigger, more angled forward. Safety catch remains the same. Quick push-pull. They've extended the bolt handle considerably, which on a semi is always a good thing. Most modern sporting semis, the actual operating handle of the hook is quite small and hard to get hold of with glove fingers. Also, the bolt release this again is lifted from the SX4. The original on the Max was a round button. It wasn't small, but it wasn't big. There's a lot more to get hold of and push, which is really good. But they have retained the magazine cutoff where you can load the magazine up, flick the cutoff, and the gun won't feed. So you can then put rounds in as you require. And if you want, then want to flick back to the full magazine, you can do it. But assembly is very easy, basically. This piston here, you line it like so, slide the barrel on and in like so. so like that. Then you drop on the forend and you screw on the end cap. Not rocket science, it's like every other modern semi auto Beretta do it, everybody does it really. Bolt release there like so. So a number of models, I think there's about at least 10 models in a range. This is the the black, black gold, really nice piece of kit. It's a bit fancy for my liking. The barrel, you get um, 26, 28 or 30 inch barrel. They come with Browning's choke system all included, which is very good. I've got a half choke in this, which is pretty much I use half choke in my guns for everything. It's a nice compromise no matter what load you're using. Good trigger and it has a thing called a speed feed system which I will show you again. Basically when the gun's open like this, the first round you can drop it in and press the bolt release you want to or, which is what Browning do, you just push that down with a round on and it takes the round out your fingers and chambers it. And if you're shooting and there's birds coming in and you're keeping the gun up and looking at where you're going and what's coming in. And once you get your brain right, you can just get the rounds and drop them in very quickly rather than having to go down and look at your gun, what you're doing. But that's the gun. 
I say this is very pretty you get camo finish you get black synthetic finish all sorts of options and typically European on on this gun is the fact you've got like two so what you call them, semi dovetails molded into the top of the receiver so you could put a red dot in if you wanted to which in Europe a lot of people use semi autos for boar hunting with slug and so they would naturally put a red dot on here but um, barrels the same nice nice vent rib you've got a red red insert up front the difference here is that on the Maxus one you had a series of colored inserts this is just a straight red one that's fixed but from my point of view it's a little bit short in the butt which again it's a typical American style semi-auto and low in the comb but that's how they are but if you're low in the comb for a shotgun you're looking over it then it's not such a bad thing and you can always put spaces on the recoil pad is very nice very generous and it really does do the business I'm gonna go and pattern it and see how it actually shoots okay start off this is number five shot All I'm doing is patterning, see down there is a patterning target which has a bird on it and there's an inner circle and an outer circle and you can see where the rounds or the pellets fall within a circle. Okay, I'm going straight for the centre. I was aiming about here. This is a half choke, it's quite evenly spread but you've got a good amount of killing pellets in this inner circle and a smashing outside so you've got some headshots here hitting the wings not a lot bit here but it's not bad so it's a tad high and I think I might put a three-quarter in this to see because that might bring it down a little bit I've put the three-quarter choke in so it's a tighter restriction I'm going to fire one round of the number fives again and just see where it patterns we've got a fresh board down there and once we see where it patterns we'll then go down again and we'll fire four to see the sort of pattern density you get. Okay, so one round in the middle, in theory. As we can see, first of all, this big hole is the felt wad that went through, which is good. But I think you'll agree, when you look to the last lot of um, patterning we did, that the pattern here is denser, with a good spread. As you can see, anything caught in that would definitely go down and the exterior though still a good few pellets is a certainly a lot thinner than it was on the first one with the half choke so from my point of view 30 yards I'll definitely use the three-quarter choke four more rounds so we can get a rough five shot density pattern look might as well just go through the whole reload while we're here safety's there press this left to right the nice thing about it is you can actually use the side of your finger as you come onto the trigger and press across so you've got a number of ways you can load this I prefer to use the speed feed so first round onto the shell lifter push forward and let go as I said before it clunks it straight in and then Right, this gun has still got this the limiter in it, so I'm gonna to have to do a reload once I've started. Okay. Okay, this is just to show with five shots, the actual shot density of five rounds. Okay, each individual shot is each individual shot, but it just gives an idea you've got your wads coming in here which is quite cute and this area here has increased exponentially as is this one so that's that's what you can what you can see basically it's, it's quite interesting obviously you know as bird comes across you only find one round of it so therefore the pattern's going to be as it was before but it's still quite an interesting test to make but now Maxus 2 feels like my Maxus 1 to me shoots well Recoil as ever is really really sweet, reliable as hell with a cross section of ammunition through it, no big problems, well worth a look. Would I swap my Maxus 1 for it? No I wouldn't because I'm happy with it, but put them both in a rack and if I wanted a modern American shotgun then this would be my choice. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, if you did tell your friends, comment, support the website, 
you need to speak to me about anything that's pmall.shootingsports at gmail.com and I'll see you later. Wish me luck for the pigeons. <laughs>